Hi, my name is Russell and I'm a librarian at the University of Alabama. This video is the third in a series about the MLA International Bibliography, which contains accessible scholarly research pertaining to literature, language, linguistics, and folklore. It is the go-to resource for finding articles about these subjects specifically, with narrowly tailored results from the premier journals in these fields. By the end of this video, you will know how to search for authors and works as subjects, how to use the preferred form of names to expand results, and how to factor diacritics and non-Latin scripts into searches. Previously, we talked about using the MLA thesaurus to find certain themes and concepts to search for as subjects, but you can also search for specific works or authors as subjects of language scholarship. On the database's main page, click on Browse Works to search for works as subjects. Similar to the MLA thesaurus, you can enter your search terms and select options to organize your results. Let's say I was specifically looking for sources that were about the Berthold Brecht play, Mother Courage and Her Children. I'll enter the terms Mother Courage and select Term Contains to filter out irrelevant results. In the list displayed, you'll see that we have multiple results, but only the last two concern the play itself. The first two are film adaptations of the play and are not the work we are considering. When we click on the English title, the database tells us that the German title is actually the preferred form of the subject heading and will be attached to all sources discussing the work. Once I tick the box, I can apply it to my search and start looking through the tagged sources. The same concept applies to searching for authors as subjects. Although there might be variations to an author's name, only one form of the name can be used as a subject. Let's try a few examples. Under the Browse Authors tab, I will type in the name of the 17th century Mexican poet Sor Juana, last name first. In the listed results, the database notes that the preferred form is her full name, Juana Inez de la Cruz. Like before, tick the box and add the name as a subject search. What about authors who are better known under a pen name? Let's try out French writer and philosopher Francois-Marie Arouet, better known as Voltaire. In this case, the preferred form is the pen name. You may have noticed that I didn't type a cedilla for the name Francois. That's because diacritics and the placement of punctuation do not matter when searching for an exact result within the MLA International Bibliography the database can match the spellings regardless. What about the names that use non-Latin scripts like Arabic or Cyrillic? The MLA International Bibliography can also match those names to its preferred, often Latinized spelling. One example of this is the Russian playwright Anton Chekhov. I'll enter the Cyrillic form of his name, and the database notes the preferred form for subject searching. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the fourth video in this series to learn how you can locate specific journals within the MLA International Bibliography. If you have further questions, you can call us, email us, or visit ask.lib.ua.edu to ask a librarian.